What's up everybody? Uh, I'm back at my little spot here where I was last week where I showed you all the videos when I had the breakdown with the uh, Traxxas Slash. I'm back here. I'm going to do another couple of runs. Uh, this time I'm going to test battery life. Um, how long does the batteries last on this type of terrain? I've got three batteries that I'm testing today. One is a nickel metal hydrate. It's a 3000 milliamp uh, it's 8.4 volts. Um, from the last time I ran it on a flat surface like this, it ran about, oh, if I remember correctly, about 15 minutes. Uh, let's see what it does today. Um, I've changed the pinion on the car from a 16 to a 23. The spur gear is a 90 tooth, so it's got quite a bit more speed. Um, so. I'm going to run the other two batteries as well. I've got two lipos, two two cell lipos. One is a 3,900 milliamp, one is a 6,000 milliamp, and I'll see what they do as well. Um, I'm a little bit careful with running the batteries one right after the other, uh, just purely because the motor gets hot, um, but I'll see how it goes. Uh, something else that I did since the last time you guys saw me uh, since the last video what I did was I installed a Traxxas telemetry temperature sensor on the motor uh, to keep track of the uh, Motor temperature the reason for that is because I generally run Two or three batteries in a row and I noticed the motor gets quite hot um, So I just want to check what that does you know what the temperature is uh, by the time I'm done um, just quickly show you what that looks like. So this is the uh, temperature sensor right over here. Um, runs from there, goes into the uh, receiver that I've got here. I've installed a TSM receiver. Um, I've had that in for quite a while. Uh, car doesn't come out with it. There is the sound module. I'll be running a sound module today as well. The car did come with that. Uh, I quite enjoy it. It's fun to hear the grunt of that V8 motor um, so that's what the electronics look like I've got the uh, RPM sensor in here as well see the wire coming out from the uh, gearbox cover over there okay guys so the first battery that I'm running is the lipo 7.42 cell 3900 milliamp gonna time it with my stopwatch um, and try and see what kind of uh, time we get out of it, how long we can run with it, how many laps. I'm going to try and keep count of the laps. Uh, you know, when we start doing this type of stuff, we have quite a lot of fun and we forget to set timers. Well, I do anyway. Forget to set a stopwatch, start a stopwatch, stop, forget to count laps and all that. But uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, just a quick look of what I'm going to do. Uh, where I'm going to ride, just going to do simple laps, nothing elaborate. Okay, so I'm going to start off over here. Basically go down here, around that bend, down that straight, the back there. Around the bend, right at the end there and come all the way down here again. And those are the laps that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to get started, set up uh, the GoPro quickly here. I'm just going to set it on this corner over here see me coming past and yeah let's see how many laps we can do
Okay guys, that was round number one, battery number one. Just over six minutes. Uh, as you can hear, it's switching off the sound unit in the background there. Just over six minutes. And like I said, didn't count the, count the lap times. I uh, will put it up in the description in the video though. Uh, this was a 3900 milliamp. I have a feeling the battery is busy going. Um, it's not as long lasting as it used to be. Um, but let's do the 6000 milliamp lipo and see what that does. Uh, be with you shortly. guys that was actually a very good run 43 laps 43 laps non-stop uh, that was 15 20 minutes I stopped the recording of the uh, Traxxas telemetry because it was busy eating the phone battery and you know I can't post a video that long nobody's gonna watch a little screen with uh, a rev and speed counter to see how far it's going so 43 laps on the 6000 milliamp that makes me think that that 3900 milliamp battery definitely is busy going i think if i got about 10 laps out of that battery it was a lot um it is puffing a little bit it's got a hard case around it uh, every now and then the hard case is popped open a little bit not much but i think it's about time i uh, retire that battery maybe replace it um, i'll see this fourth uh, the 6000 is actually running quite well i'm enjoying it a lot and uh, now for the nickel metal hydrate which is a 3000 milliamp uh, 8.4 volts let's see what that does guys that was it uh, all three batteries run I think it was a good day nice run had a lot of fun um, just to be clear the purpose of this test was not to see which battery is better I mean obviously you've got two different types of batteries and three different uh, milliamps the purpose of the test was just to see for that specific battery how long would you be able to run on a terrain like this more or less to give an indication, uh, if you have a car like this and you're wondering what battery would be best to get for this car, if you're looking at buying this car, awesome buy, uh, very good, very good car, very good chassis, I'm enjoying it very much, it's my first slash. I uh, obviously would have preferred to have a four-wheel drive, they are a little bit more expensive though. In future I will think about upgrading to a brushless system, that also is a bit pricey, you know, where I live. With imports and all of that, it gets quite expensive to do that. those type, type of upgrades. Um, what I'm going to do now is just going to have a walk around at the track quickly, just to show you uh, the loop that I did, what it looked like. Um, there were a couple of bad rock uh, incidents where the car almost flipped forward. Uh, because of the riding, obviously with the acceleration, the back goes down. 
the front goes over the rock, the back hooks and it gets shot forward. Uh, only about two or three times I checked out the car, not any damage, just the usual scratch um, on the back braces, but uh, nothing too serious. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please like it, please subscribe. I'm going to try and do more videos more often as I get a little bit uh, more into the hobby. Um, I've got a TRX4 as well, going to do a couple of videos and a couple of trails for you coming soon. Please like, please subscribe. Catch you later. Bye-bye.